So with the variants, there's three things we worry about. Is it more contagious? Is it more lethal or does it cause a worse illness? And does it escape the vaccines? And with Omicron, we don't have a lot of data. There are several ways people can look at this. They can look in the lab to look at the affinity for the antibodies from the vaccine you know, for the virus. And then there's real world clinical experience. What kind of cases are seeing um, does the protection appear less with the vaccine than other variants? Coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, you know, replicates billions and billions of times a day as it affects people around the world. And of those billions of times it replicates, there's going to be errors and you're going to get variants. And the vast majority of variants will be non-viable. Whatever the error was you know, when the vir virus replicates, just not going to work for the virus and, and it's not going to do anything. But of the you know, millions and millions of mutation events, every once in a while, things come together and there's a variant that can compete. And this is sort of natural selection. You know, a virus that is more contagious and spreads more easily is going to outcompete other variants. So we think that the Omicron variant has some of the same mutations uh, as Delta, which makes it more contagious. Now, it's reported that Omicron has more mutations. And people don't know what this means yet. That's one reason there's some speculation that perhaps because there's more mutations in the spike protein, the vaccines, which are aimed at producing antibodies for spike protein, could potentially be less effective. I would say it's going to be as contagious or maybe more contagious than, than Delta. The early data I see is it's not more serious in terms of the illness produces but there could be some less effectiveness for the vaccines. All speculation will get data in the next two or three weeks. Again, what, what drives the spread of the viruses is contagiousness and, and how easily it spreads. There's really no advantage to the virus to be more, more lethal. It really, the advantage in the competition is to spread better. So there's no reason that a more lethal variant would, would establish a foothold if it's less contagious. We may get in a situation where we have a highly contagious variant that doesn't make people very sick. So you might get a mutation where the, the virus spreads, propagates, outcompetes other variants, but produces a much milder illness. And that, that would not be a bad thing. We just don't know. The real fear is a more contagious variant that produces a more severe illness that is not well controlled by the vaccines. It doesn't seem to be the case with Omicron, but we don't know for sure. So that's the biggest concern. People should not forget that in the United States right now, we're seeing widespread uh, 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 infection with Delta, and it's a real problem. So it's not as though we're in a great place and Omicron is, is a big threat to change things. We're not in a great place right now with Delta variant. Delta variant is so contagious, it seems like this is going to find everybody who's who's not immune, who's not had the vaccine or, or not previously had COVID. So the Delta strain is not great. <laughs> we hope Omicron's not worse. We just don't know yet. So anything that we can do to mitigate the spread and control the spread and lessen the amount of times the virus replicates will decrease the risk for variants. So the answer really is vaccination to cut the spread and cut the replication.